everyone. I hope you're all staying safe and healthy. I hope your families are also safe and healthy and that everyone is trying their best to stay sane during our current situation. As you can see, I decided to cheer myself up with this crazy look, <laughs> to be honest. I haven't really been in the mood to even put on makeup. I found it really hard to keep myself motivated lately and I'm trying to change that. So I decided that I'm gonna do something wild and crazy today to cheer myself up and I am going to get on here and do a very frivolous and self-indulgent video and I'm gonna share with you guys all of the eyeshadow palettes I have in my collection that I haven't even touched yet. For those of you that have seen some of my other recent videos, I've talked a little bit about how I've been promising a collection, a makeup collection, and I just haven't had the gumption to film it because I just feel overwhelmed right now. I also feel, of course, that it's out of place. I feel like we have so many other more important, more serious matters at hand. But, you know, I have already bought all this makeup. I can sit here and beat myself up for something I've already done and torture myself even further in already a very volatile situation, especially here in New York City, which is where I live. Or I can just use this makeup as the fun and the distraction that, you know, it is for a lot of us on here on YouTube and frankly that I feel it should be right now. So I finally decided to start tackling my makeup collection videos. I haven't yet filmed any full categories, but before I do, I wanted to go through and just do a separate video on all of my untouched eyeshadow palettes. This is not something I'm proud of by any means because there was a time where I was just buying to have, just buying to have more and more and more because I kept seeing other YouTubers talk about this or that or the other thing, or I would see something on a great deal at TJ Maxx and remember hearing about it in the past and thinking, oh wow, well at that price, I just can't pass it up. And this is how I've accumulated just way too many things for my two eyeballs. But yeah, here we are. We are just going to have some fun looking at some brand new shiny makeup that I haven't even dug my fingers into. I haven't even ever swatched. This will also give me an idea of some of the palettes I wanna dig into first for my future shop my stashes. And maybe also have you guys request which palettes I use in the future as well. Maybe a lot of these you have or some of these you have and you would want me to do looks with them. This has already been a long intro. I'm not gonna get into anything else serious here today. I wanna just have some fun. I wanna take my mind away from everything. So if you'd like to see all the brand new, shiny, untouched palettes that I have, in my pause at this time, then please stay right where you are and keep watching. So before I start, I just wanted to welcome anybody that is new here. I've gained like two or three subscribers in the past couple of weeks, which for me is always so exciting. So if you are watching, please give me a like and comment and introduce yourself. I would love to have some new conversations with those of you that are new and those of you that have been here since January, which is when I started my channel. Of course, as most of you probably know by now, I am doing a no buy year, quite appropriate now, because let's face it, I probably wouldn't be buying much as it is. I'll link my no buy video up in the cards. Let's get started with all of my new eyeshadow palettes. I'm looking at all of them in front of me and I don't even know where to start. Is there gonna be any rhyme or reason? I don't think so. Maybe let's start with some BoxyCharm palettes that I've gotten that I have yet to try. I have this right here from Storybook Cosmetics. This is the Little Briar Rose. This is from their Fairy Tale collection. I can't remember now if this was made exclusively for BoxyCharm or not, but regardless, you can see it has some really beautiful colors. In the future, I will definitely give this a whirl. I think I am most drawn to these lovely transition colors. I really, really like this kiss shade. It has this beautiful gold and silver micro glitters. I love this color thorn. Uh, this Enchanted looks like your standard champagne gold, but this one looks very, very pretty. The blues are nice, so yeah, I'm, I'm really, really excited 
to play with this palette. The other one that I got, and by the way, just so you guys know, I no longer, of course, subscribe to BoxyCharm because for my new buy year, I did cancel it. But these I received at the end of last year because I was subscribed for about a half a year in 2019. So this is from Ace Beauté. This is the Scarlet Dusk palette. And it looks like so. These colors, oh, how perfect are these colors for what I hope will be spring soon. We have a really dreary day here in New York City today. And in fact, we've had quite a few. Yesterday was sunny, but other than that, this whole week has been pretty blah. This looks very pretty. Let's see what colors do I really like. These matte shades, Lotus and Bahama right there. This is a really pretty, this Aurora shade. Those bright oranges would be perfect for spring and summer, like the, this quad right here with a little bit of deepening and this Maui shade. I wonder if that's just a straight up pink or it has a little of a duochrome. I won't know until I swatch it and honestly, for now, I'm not quite ready. This is all about brand new and shiny makeup today. I don't want to touch anything. I just want to admire it. I hope you guys don't mind. <laughs> this is the You Have Me Out Hello by ColourPop. Guys, can you believe it? I still have yet to use this. So this palette I almost got rid of once or twice. Like I've almost given it away to a friend. She ended up not wanting it. I've almost sold it. And I've kept holding off something. I think it's because I have never really tried ColourPop pressed eyeshadows. I've never really tried ColourPop eyeshadow palettes. And you'll see I have two actually in this video and I have yet to try either one. And that is on my list to try in the upcoming couple of months of my shop, my stash. But yeah, so this is one of my palettes. This is the You Had Me at Hello. I guess we might as well cover the other one. This is not a BoxyCharm palette though. This is something I actually bought from ColourPop. I bought this during the Black Friday sales back in November. So before I knew already that I was considering doing a no buy and I really wanted to have one monochromatic I showed a palette from ColourPop and this one a lot of people here on YouTube recommend so I decided to go with this one. I also figured it's beautiful colors. I do like purples. I'm excited to try this one. I've heard about Mr. Sandman from multiple people including some of you guys. Earthshine looks really really beautiful. That's the center shade. So many here. I'm I'm excited. This one I bought, I did not receive from BoxyCharm, but I did receive this from BoxyCharm. This is the Dominic Cosmetics Celestial Thunder. And from what I remember, this one was made specifically for BoxyCharm. So she has a larger one and this is like a sampling. This looks beautiful. This looks like it's gonna be a gorgeous spring, summer and fall palette because you've got the fall colors here in the middle I really do associate pinks and teals with spring and summer. I think those look beautiful. I mean, all year round, but that eternal light shade. Ooh, that looks stunning. And then we've got some cool tones, the zero gravity. This is, this could be a really cool shade, especially nowadays that cool tones are back in fashion. So. Celestial Thunder Dominic Cosmetics, another one I have yet to try. And then this, I remember being so excited for this. So there was a month when BoxyCharm was sending out the Dose of Colors 5 Pan Eyeshadows. I have the Marvelous Mauves. I love that palette. And I received the Blushing Berries. However, it came broken. Now, I've cleaned it up since, so it doesn't look bad. Right? Mine looks really good actually. But if you look closely enough, this shade right here, there's like a whole corner of it that is shattered and gone. When this arrived, I freaked out because the whole box and the whole box that this came in was covered in that shade. And I remember opening my box and thinking, oh no. Like I was looking forward to one of those Dose of Colors palettes and my only like concern was, am I gonna get the Marvelous Mobs because that's the one I already owned. And of course I didn't wanna have a duplicate. I opened my box, I saw that it was the Blushing Berries. I got so excited and then immediately my heart sank because I saw powder from these type of colors and I knew, I just knew instantly 
that this palette had shattered. I just didn't know how badly. And I have in the past had some other items shatter in BoxyCharm boxes before. It was a mess. It was a total mess. However, I do have to say, BoxyCharm customer service, they are unbelievable. I instantly took a picture while it was in that disarray because I honestly couldn't even tell what condition it was in because it was so messy. So I took a picture, I right away emailed them. There's like a place on the website that you can submit a claim for broken product. And they sent me a replacement. The only thing they said is we cannot guarantee that we still have the same colors, like that we still have the blushing berries. So you might get a different one, but we will be happy to send you a replacement. I knew that I wanted any of them Again, except for the Marvelous Mobs. So I lucked out because I managed to clean this up. It's usable even though I haven't yet. You know, two eyeballs only. Only two eyes and I have yet to try any of these. But I got this because they were out of the blushing berries so they sent me the Sassy Siennas instead. And I wanna say I probably like this one almost a little better because I feel like it's a little more unique in terms of something that I can bring with me on the go. I have other palettes that have more of these colors, like obviously I have lots of palettes that have a black or a really deep purple or like a nice raspberry color and then these are more like your warmy browns. But I don't think I have something this small that gives me this variety of peachy, tangerine warm brownie colors so i think for summer this is amazing and then i think for fall and winter this is amazing and then i've got my marvelous mauves for all year round so i was really happy about that i think that's it for boxycharm okay let's go through my tg maxx purchases bh cosmetic zodiac palette i ended up getting one for myself and getting one for one of my favorite YouTubers and sending it to her as a Christmas gift. So there she is. I am so excited about breaking into this and using other people's tutorials as inspiration, including Mia Dili, who actually is the one that received this from me. And she seems to really, really enjoy it. So I'm excited about that. That I got at TG Maxx. Oh, it's on the actual palette. I got this for $8.99. Now, I know these two Anastasia Beverly Hills palettes are kind of controversial, and I know a lot of people didn't love either one of these, but again, I found these at TG Maxx. I had wanted it back when it was being released. I didn't want to spend the $42 or the $44 on it. I then saw, of course, the mixed reviews, and I decided I definitely don't want to pay the $42 or the $44 for it. Then I saw this beautiful palette at TJ Maxx. I want to say for, I think, 25. I know a lot of people struggled with the color story here. If you actually just remove this blue and that bright pink even, it becomes a lot more neutral. I, I think some of the colors people complained about were like Con, which is gorgeous, and even Bahamas. So like the the kind of pops of color, I think is where the quality lacked, but I'm, I'm really excited. I love the theme of it. I love the packaging. I love the names and especially right now, yes, these are only dreams, but just even reading the names like Sails and Yacht and Palermo and Mediterranean and Bahamas, Coastline, Cabana, Estate, Monte Carlo, Con, Palm. But somehow it's a bit soothing just to even read those off. Excited to have a month of Anastasia Beverly Hills later in the year for my shop, my stash, because I've been doing each month is being dedicated to a different eyeshadow brand. I hope you guys are not taking a shot every time I say excited. <laughs> All right, and then this is the other one that I picked up at TJ Maxx and I still have the original box. I paid $20 for this one. And this is the Alyssa Edwards palette. This one, a lot of people were saying is in some ways similar to the Riviera. Honestly, I don't see it. I think the only thing similar is that pink that Texas made and, you know, maybe a couple of neutrals. The Riviera, surprisingly enough, even though it's in blue packaged palette, except for Seychelles, doesn't have any blues. This one actually has 
way more blues. Can you guys see that? Than this one. Yeah. There's my two brand new Anastasia palettes. I believe I also got this Buxom Neutral, sorry, not Natural, Neutral Instincts eyeshadow palette from TJ Maxx a while back. I remember falling in love with that chartreuse yellow color. So when I do finally use this, most likely that's gonna be one of the first shades I dig into. This is also a TG Maxx purchase. This is not an eyeshadow palette, but I'm not gonna do, I think, a separate face, all new products. I think the eyeshadows is the only thing I'm gonna do. If I go through and I see I have enough of every other category to do a separate video, I guess I'll show this again in that video. But this is the Dream Glow Kit. And to be honest, I wasn't gonna get this. I remember getting the Moonchild, the little blue one with all the duochromes, like the funky highlighter colors, like the blues and the greens. And I remember bringing it home and thinking, what were you thinking? Like you never, you're not that brave and returning that. Or maybe I did try to use it and then I ended up selling it on my Poshmark. I think that's actually the truer story. And I'll be honest, the reason for why I got this is because Aniela Kaniquis here on YouTube talked at some point about how these are absolutely stunning inner corner highlights. And this is why I bought it. It was at TG Maxx for like $13, I think. And I thought, huh, aren't these normally like $45? So I got it in December. For me, that's recent because I don't wear makeup every day. I'd really like to try that in my inner corners. So now we're done with TJ Maxx, Marshalls, all of that sort of stuff. I kind of grouped that all together. Okay, and then we have just a few, I say just a few. These are things I haven't even touched, which is embarrassing. But yes, we just have a few left that I've bought here and there and for one reason or another, haven't used. So some uh, drugstore palettes. I got this Rimmel London back when these first came out and the reason for where I got it is because I wanted to be a wannabe YouTuber and compare this to the subculture palette because everyone was saying there's quite a lot of similar colors and I of course never did that. I still want to do that actually. Not that anybody would ever want to see that video. I just want to do that for my own enjoyment, even if I don't film it, although I might because hey, why not? The other two palettes that I got before I think they even discontinued these is the Milani Soft and Sultry and the Milani Bold Obsessions. A lot of people love these palettes. I'm excited to dig into these because I think there's quite a lot of tutorials and inspiration out there. So this is the Bold Obsessions. It's beautiful. I'm excited about the quality to test it out. And honestly, if I love these, these would be fantastic travel palettes for that one day when we can travel again. Because they're, they're fairly small, but they pack a lot of shadows in there and they have a mirror. And I love a good small palette with a mirror for traveling. Ooh, I just saw myself and realized I am bright today. All right, and then this, this is the one I'm uh, really excited for because this is the year to pull out this palette. This is the soft and sultry and it is more of a cool tone palette. The cool tones are definitely back in town and I'm, I really wanna play with my cool tones. So hopefully some future videos you'll see me in some more cool tone looks. And then we've got two larger size palettes. This first one, I'm kind of, well, both of them, I'm kind of embarrassed about for different reasons. I love Lorac Pro eyeshadows. I love the quality. I actually love the powderiness that some people don't like because I find it very easy to blend. And I have the original uh, Lorac Pro palette, the little black one that came out years ago. Um, I think it came out right around the time I started watching YouTube. And then I followed that up and bought the gray one, the Pro 2. And then they came out with the first Mega Pro and it, it blew up the internet. It was a horribly planned release on their part. So many people were upset. I think it was only available on Amazon. Only a handful of people ended up getting it. It was so hyped. And I was one of the few people that ended up getting it. And because it was my very first palette of this size and this price at that time, I never could 
dig into it. I just couldn't destroy it. I didn't want to destroy it at the time. I think these were like $59 palettes. And I remember I went on Amazon like the minute they released and grabbed one, even though I knew I shouldn't, even though it was really out of my budget and I just really wanted it and I still have it. This is one of those where I did touch like one or two shades. I've touched these two shades once. And granted, there's a few other palettes I have that are like that too. But I just, I needed to include this though. Like I know it's all brand new and shiny, but I needed to include this because this is an embarrassment. This is a, a wake up and a reality check for why I'm doing the no by year. Reminding myself how much makeup I have and how many things I have to play with. Like if I ever tell myself I am bored with the makeup I have, right? somebody needs to just really shake me hard because how can I be bored if I haven't even used half of my collection? Same thing with this. I pined and pined and pined and pined over it because at that time, Jaclyn Hill was still on top of the world. And then they came to Ulta, these palettes. And I still said, no, I'm not gonna get it. I'm not gonna get it. I'm not gonna get it. It's a large palette. It's too many shades. What am I gonna do with this? I already, by then I think, had two of those Lorac Mega Pros that I was barely using. And then I went into store one time and I saw it and I swatched it and I played with it and it went home with me. And now, most recently, I have even talked about this in my first Get Ready With Me video. Most recently, I found out that I might not even have the original formula. I'll never know because I don't have my box. I don't remember when I bought it. I have to go on the Ulta website and maybe see if they have a history of all of my purchases. But yeah, this is another one of those palettes where after pining and pining and pining, I've used this maybe once or twice. I have, I think I've dipped into six shades and by dipped, I mean used once. I, I actually mean dipped. I haven't even swatched the rest. So yes, this is kind of cheating because it's not brand, brand, brand new. But again, for the reasons of reaffirmation that I need help, I'm including it in this video. I could also put in this video a couple of Kat Von D palettes. Well, now, what is it now? It's like KVG Vegan Beauty. I, I don't even know. Please don't ask. I still can't get a hang of it. But I bought two palettes of Kat Von D's when it was Kat Von D, when she was still also on top of the world. And I have the Metal Matte and I have the Satan Center. And both of those palettes I've barely used. I think the Metal Matte I've swatched and I used it once. And the Satan Center also, I think I've used once or twice. So that's also an embarrassment. And then had I filmed this video a month and a half ago, there would have been three other brand new palettes. The Tribe by Juvia's Place, the Saharan 2, and the Warrior 3 by Juvia's Place, which is actually the one I have on my eyes today. But because these are in my current Shop My Stash for the month of February and March, and I am filming this at the very end of March, these are no longer new. I have actually used all three of these palettes and so far I'm really enjoying them and it's been really fun playing with them so I hope to continue doing that with all the palettes I showed you guys today. That's it, I think this might be like my shortest one. I am the queen of super long videos even though I have absolutely no reason for it. It's not like I'm over here making money on AdSense or really talking to that many people but the few of you guys that stop by make me so happy so please 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 Comment down below and let me know, do you have any eyeshadow palettes in your possession that you have yet to use? I want to know what they are. Do you have any that I have that you haven't used? Or if you have used a bunch of these, please give me recommendations on which ones I should try first, which ones are like the best or the worst, or which ones I should stay clear of. Thank you so much for stopping by. Please stay safe. Please stay home. I cannot cannot reiterate that enough please stay home you know i don't know where all of you live but i can definitely tell you that new york city feels surreal i just have so much gratitude admiration and respect for all of our health workers and everyone out there who are doing all the necessary jobs to help us fight this but for their sake and everybody else around you please stay home and otherwise 
I hope you will consider subscribing. I hope you will consider checking out some of my other videos and giving me a like. Even though I'm a little baby channel, every little bit that you do really helps get my videos out there. I thank you all so much for watching and I will see you in my next video. Bye. Sirens. We've had a lot of that in New York. It's pretty much quiet on the roads other than that, of course, because of the quarantines, but the sirens come and go quite often.